Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Devi Sunda, founder of Chelly Therapies and professional background. I'm a respiratory physiotherapist, integrative psychotherapist, neuroscience coach, and hypnotherapist. Now, let's take a deep breath together and breathe out. Feels good, right? Now, imagine if even the simple breath felt like running a marathon. For millions of people living with COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, that's their daily reality. And we need to talk about something that, more important, often get missed in their story, burnout. Stick with me for the next few minutes. I'm going to dive into what burnout looks like in COPD patients, how to recognize it, and steps to take and why you can make a difference by signing COPD care reform. Let's breathe life back into this conversation. So what is burnout in COPD? Well, burnout isn't just being tired. It's a strong physical exhaustion, emotional overwhelm and mental fog that leaves people feeling like they are drowning in the weight of their condition. It's not just in their heads. It's and it's not a sign of weakness. It's very real and very human response to rentless demands of living with COPD. And it happens in stages. Let me break it down for you. Stage one, it often starts with stress. Living with COPD is tough. And the constant juggling act, managing the medication, dealing with the symptoms, avoiding the triggers can feel overwhelming. During this stage, people might notice they are more irritable and anxious than usual. They feel stretched thin, like there's too much to do and not enough energy to do it. Stage two, if the stress isn't addressed, it can lead to a chronic fatigue. This is more than just feeling tired after a long day. It's a bone deep exhaustion that doesn't go away, even with rest. COPD patients in this stage might start struggling with their daily tasks, feeling drained just from getting dressed or making a meal. Stage three, the final stage is exhaustion. This is where the burnout takes its full toll, physically, emotionally, and mentally. Patients might feel completely detached, hopeless, or even start to withdraw from the world around them. They lose motivation to stick their care routines, which can make their COPD symptoms worse. It's a vicious cycle and it's heartbreaking. If you or someone you know is somewhere in this cycle, know this. It's okay to feel this way. Burnout doesn't mean you are failing. It means you have been trying so hard for so long that your mind and body need a break. And the good news, there are ways to step off this burnout treadmill. How to break the burnout cycle. If you're in the stress stage, start small. Uh, breathing exercises. In many of my videos, I've actually, and also in my recent video, I've actually demonstrated uh, simple breathing exercises and pranayama techniques. And mindfulness as well can enhance the way you feel and calm down your nervous system, and especially your breathing pathways, and teach your brain how to breathe right. And this will help you to ground yourself and bring clarity to your chaos. For those in chronic fatigue, yes, you need to rest, but don't isolate. Even gentle stretches or a short walk can recharge your energy. It's all about finding that balance, your balance. And it's also time to lean on to your support system, your family, friend, or LK team. And if you're feeling full on exhausted, burnout isn't just about your body, it's about your head too. Find a way to unload the mental clutter, whether that's journaling, talking to someone who gets it, or practicing mindfulness. Even a few minutes a day can shift your mindset. This is where professional help is essential. A therapist or a support group or a COPD care specialist, uh, those people can guide you out of this fog. You don't have to do it alone. Burnout doesn't define you and COPD doesn't have to either. You are more than your bad days. You are stronger than you think and there's a community here to support you every step of the way. Now, I want to talk to everyone watching, whether you have COPD, know someone who does, or just want to make a difference. The COPD care reform is a push for better healthcare policies. 
reform support for COPD people with psychological interventions at their GP centers and easy access to life-saving resources for people with COPD. It's about giving people the tools to fight burnout and live a life with dignity. So I have made two petitions locally in Gloucestershire and also nationally around the UK. So please do take a moment. Signing it takes less than a minute, but impact could last a lifetime. There's a link in the description box below, and you can also see the display on the screen. Click the link in the description box below and read what it's all about. And if it speaks to you, add your name. Every signature counts. Thanks for spending these few moments with me. If this video resonated with you, share it and like it. Let's spread the word about COPD burnout and bring this conversation into the open. And don't forget, sign the COPD care reform. Let's make the change happen one breath at a time. Until next time, take care of yourself, be kind to your body and mind, stay curious. And remember, you have got this. Signing off, Devi Sundar.